guys I finally did it I made a chunky monkey junk journal everything mostly is pink and I gathered all of the things that I did in the past three years in a pink color and I stuffed this journal with it um, but yeah just wanted to show you what I made today this Chunky Monkey Junk Journal is going to be available in my Etsy store. So this junk journal actually can be a writing journal if you take all of the bits out and you have a lot of space to write. Or you want to include all of these bits that I put inside of this journal um, for your future journals or for other journals. So I'm going to just um, untie this. I actually put uh, three different... Um, this is like a lace um, type stretchy stretchy thingy and some ribbon and more lace um, to actually make non-fixed closure because I wanted this to expand more. If you want to have something different as a closure you can use this uh, in your junk journal um, because I used um, this type of uh, fabrics inside of the journal so if you wanted to have more of this kind of fabric I just included it and um, I just tied a little knot uh, so they don't um, get loose so let's just start um, okay so this <laughs> so this one is really really chunky and I pretty much um, filled it up with everything um, that I created in the past three years so I will need some assistance of my books because it's really really um, chunky but like I said you can take everything out because there's like minimal pockets I didn't want to permanently glue a lot of things down so you as a creator and owner of this junk journal will have um, the ability to play with it and do whatever you want to do so let's just start i'm not gonna show you everything that i put inside because i want the owner to actually explore like i put it here um the journal and um find little bits as they go through the journal so this is some vellum and i just made like a i don't even know how to call it and some writing spot and a pocket with two huge long bookmarks so you can actually see through and you can put anything you want behind here um, and I think it's really it's really cool that you can actually see and a little tag and homemade envelope so I made some booklets and there are some pages in so let's see I made a journaling card and I put it inside and this is like a little I don't even know how to call it matchbook kind of thingy where I put a lot of papers in and this is my scan of the collage that I made so this is here then some booklets the card that you probably seen in the previous video that I made um, I wanted to include it and some booklets with pockets middle page more tags there is a lot of tags um, some long pocket and some card inside and a lot of paper clips so this is a scrappy booklet I'm going to include this video down below if you're interested how I made these and then what else I made some circle embellishments so you can put on another journal like a small journal or you just wanted to have as a tag and some card and some pockets and I'm not gonna show you what's inside a pocket because it's a secret and more journaling cards and another tag that I made and um, a lot a lot of things actually um, this is all clipped in which I really like so you can do whatever you want another bookmark behind here and some various tags um, this I think I got in a happy mail and I wanted to include because it's really cute um, some stitching and some more journaling cards like here I even made a video about this one so I can link it down below if you're interested to make some um, some circled um, recycled notebooks let me close that down 
it's a paper clip so it actually it's holding uh, another journaling card more tags I actually need to take this uh, this is a belly band that I wanted to include um, so you can put it anywhere or you can use it as something else if you don't want it to use it as a belly band this heart is really old um, I was probably 16 when I made these so I found them a few days back and I just wanted to include it because it's really cute and pockets and more packaging tags another tag and flip out I don't know if you can actually see it hopefully you can because this is really big vintage pages here is another envelope that it's bigger and I put something inside and a picture and this is the pocket and I included this pretty cluster flower thingy um, if you wanted to put it on the front of the page or if you wanted to put it somewhere in the journal I just um, wanted to um, put it here because it's pretty very pretty and another tag and this is actually a pocket but I put the page in between in the pocket so you have the pocket in the front and the back and you don't need to clip it because it's actually staying in here really good another card and some goodies in this envelope this is another um, of those scrappy booklets type thingies and an image from a book and this is a bag uh, like a gift bag if you want to put something in and the card This is some journaling card we made together and this I made way back when I started crafting. I think I watched a tutorial on this kind of uh, envelopes, the paper outpost. I think she made a tutorial how to make these so I'm gonna try to find that video and link it down below. I think it was one of the first videos she made and this is a tag that I made in one of my videos. Um, Hopefully I can find the video so I can link it down below. And this is an envelope filled with something. I don't want to open it up. Another page and this is some painted paper and a letter. Um, some more tags. So this cute unicorn was actually a kid's bag that I pulled apart and made some journaling cards. And I wanted to include it because it's pink and I really like it more of my butterfly journaling cards a lot of things going on here um, I wanted to show you this one this I think is made from the envelope used envelope so um, and I made a pocket in between so it's like a tiny little tag so this tag is actually more like um, artsy tag where you cannot really write because I stitched the plastic from a acrylic tube all together and I put a topper so this one can't be used like for anything than decoration but this one you can write on um, I think this was another packaging that I um, pulled one side apart and turned around and just stitched and made some pretty stenciling on it another tag so this is an envelope that I made um, I put some of the scrappy ruffles on this and I think it looks really cool this is actually the middle of the signature and it's kind of thick so it's a lot of goodies inside um, and I put a fabric um, tie on it so that it wouldn't open but you can still um, put some stuff here if you wanted to like a belly band thing I made a flower, I put a pocket here, another journaling card, more of the book pictures, that's really lovely, and more of the goodies, some, this is another coffee dyed page, so I made this pocket here, this one is permanent, and I made this kind of, um, how can I call it, like a pocket thingy? Uh, you can put whatever you want on the front or on the back. Um, I left it plain to um, spark creativity. And I put some of the tags inside so you can write on them or you can actually use them somewhere else. 
and this is just a postcard like a thicker postcard that goes in one of the painted pages like a really thick page another journaling card from my grandmother's gift wrap I really love this gift wrap paper clip um, and this is again filled with some tags let me show you like you can open it up it's like this type of thing uh, where I put in each pocket I put something and I think I made some pockets on the back too so um, that's for the owner to explore oh I really had a blast um, creating this one today like a lot of a lot of fun I've never created chunky monkey before so this was really um, really really interesting and um, these are really old tags this is the last one that I um, still hoard but I decided to just put it here because it goes really nicely with this chunky monkey and more of the tags and this is a charm um, like a leaf charm um, another thing that I made like two or three years ago um, this is an envelope type thingy more coffee dyed pages another bookmark and a picture and a pocket um, this is actually um, some stickers that we get in the store these ones are no longer in the stores but this one is actually the one that you can actually rub here and you can smell the smell of the flowers um, otherwise it doesn't um, smell at all so I think that was really cool thing to include so you can make a journaling card or a booklet for your journal and another little tag explore this is a tag that we made together in a 30 minute video and I wanted to include it because it goes perfectly with this journal uh, and it's really really cute and some more tags and this is a floating paper clip I don't even know if that's the name of it um, but I put my cardboard buttons on it and make a cluster and I really like it how it looks like so you can put it anywhere as an embellishment if you wanted to I put some more tags there and really old vintage music paper um, this is um, envelope pocket with a tag inside and some paper to write on more of those scrappy um, notebooks and in this pocket I think I'm missing something okay here it is uh, this is a one page booklet that I created and um, let me just flip through really quickly it has a pocket it has something inside so it's a really like a junk journal type thing and I really love it so this is it so this filled junk journal is about 650 grams um, it's really heavy I really love how all of the different pink colors you can actually see when you do this um, and I think this is not gonna be my last one yeah maybe last pink one for this year and maybe I'm gonna do another one with yellow or green because I collect all of these goodies that I make over the years um, in a special boxes with the name of the color and I made so so much um, that I cannot close the boxes anymore my pink box is almost empty now and now I can create even more pink stuff for another chunky monkey next year I really enjoyed creating it and it was so much fun and I hope I can make some more chunky monkeys I love it I really do. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.